हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लीथल जीन्स ए टॉपिक ऑफ जेनेटिक्स सो लीथल जीन्स आर दो जीन्स दैट कैन किल द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट केयर इज इट एंड इफ कम्स इन होमोजेगस कंडीशन एंड विच आर हार्मफुल जीन्स एंड दे आर यूजली ऑकर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ म्यूटेशन इन जीन्स that are essential for growth and development so lethal genes shows is its lethality only in homozygous condition okay so homozygous means both dominant or both recessive that is lethal genes show its effect only when the the genes are present in homozygous condition homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive so lethal genes are present mainly in two two forms dominant lethal genes and recessive lethal genes dominant lethal genes shows its effect in dominant form and uh, recessive lethal genes shows its lethality at recessive form but uh, recessive lethality is more common as compared to the dominant uh, lethal genes now this are some of exa- some example of lethal genes so first uh, coat color in mice then lethal gene in plant that is leaf color then gene for sickle cell anemia in human here also we can observe lethal gene now we will discuss about first example in brief that is coat color in mice so the coat color in mice uh which which is first discovered by l quenard so he observed that there are two types of coat color in mice one is yellow color and other is brown color so in this case the dominant y is responsible for yellow color and the recessive y is for brown color and remember this is a case of so this is a case of dominant lethal genes so we know that to cause lethality or to kill an organism a lethal genes have to present in homozygous condition so as it is a dominant lethal case so here in mice coat color to cause lethality the gene capital y have to present in this capital y have to present in dominant homozygous form that is capital y capital y to cause that of the organism but capital y and small y is not harmful because it is not present in homozygous condition it is heterozygous yellow so here uh, f1 individuals are self crossed and uh, then he noticed that uh, see here four types of offspring are formed that is capital y capital y capital y small y capital y small y and small y small y in the ratio in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 but instead of this ratio it will form 2 is to 1 ratio because capital y capital y that is homozygous dominant for yellow will act as lethal gene and kill the organism or it will kill the offspring so in instead of this 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio now 2 is to 1 will occur so here mentioned uh, other examples that is leaf color of uh, snapdragon plant here golden leaf color act as lethal gene and in human uh, hp as gene act as lethal that is sickle cell gene so now see here in details about lethal gene in mice so see here uh, in mice yellow coat color is due to a dominant gene capital y the dominant capital y produces lethal effect when two capital y capital y are present that is homozygous dominant hence in a group of individual all yellow individuals are heterozygous that is capital y and small y as because the homozygous dominant is act as lethal genes when two yellow individuals are breed together as we have uh, seen in the previous slide 
they always produce offspring in the ratio of two heterozygous yellow and one non-yellow but the expected ratio is one pure yellow and two heterozygous yellow and one non-yellow so see when two yellow organism two heterozygous yellow organism breed together four offspring are produced out of which one will be lethal and the two heterozygous yellow and one will be non-yellow so, so as in the previous slide we have discussed about dominant lethal genes so here in this slide we will study about recessive lethal genes so recessive lethal genes is a pair of alleles which results in that of an organism and uh, they act on homozygous condition because one mutant lethal allele can be tolerated but having two results in that one example is manx cat or tailless cat so now here we will discuss about an example of recessive lethal genes that is manx cats so there is a gene in cats that affects development of the tail and the cats with mm genotype that is capital mm genotype are phenotypically normal as it is a case of recessive lethal genes and the individual with capital m and small m genotype that is heterozygous condition are tailless and the small mm genotype that is the recessive condition is lethal so jacket with this recessive condition recessive uh, homozygous recessive condition do not develop because in this case the dominant genotype will be normal and the heterozygous condition will be tailless that is the manx cat and the homozygous recessive condition will be lethal to the organism so now if we cross two manx cat that is in the heterozygous cat uh, capital m small m into capital m and small m then four offspring will be formed capital m capital m capital m small m and small m small m in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 but here as it is a recessive lethal case so small m small m that is the homozygous recessive will cause that of the organism so the observed ratio will be 1 capital m capital m is to 2 capital m small m that is only homozygous dominant and heterozygous dominant will be formed so here is another type of lethal gene that is the condition lethals so alleles that will only be fatal in response to some environmental factors so in this condition lethals envir environmental factors are related so example fabism a sex linked inherited condition that causes the carrier to develop hemolytic anemia so it is a conditional lethal condition so thank you hope you all understand the topic clearly and in case of any query you can contact me